Welcome back to P3. Today we're looking at differentiated exponentials and logarithms and this is unit 6.2. So there are three standard results for this that you need to memorize and by memorize I suppose you would actually start to remember these the more questions you do on this. It's quite straightforward. So if I differentiate this it's something we have looked at before and we get k e to the k x so you multiply by this differentiated now when y equals ln x we get 1 over x and this is going to come in particularly useful when we get on to integration because up to this point you will have seen that you wouldn't have dealt with these questions yet but if this was x on the bottom it become x to the minus 1 and when you integrate them and you add 1 to the power that becomes x to the power 0 which then just becomes 1 which has always been a problem so what you'll see now is that now we'll be able to integrate things with just a single x on the bottom then finally when y equals a value raised to the power so like where a could be 2 3 4 5 and so on and this will be that same value a to the kx and then it'll be multiplied by k ln a where a needs to be greater than zero so it needs to be a positive number and as before, I'm not going to go into where these results come from, just that you need to learn them for your exams. Now, this third result, though, here, I will do this in one of the examples with actual values for A and for K, so you can see where that one comes from. So, differentiating Y equals 5E to the 6X, E to the 6X will stay the same. So, dy by dx this e to the 6x is going to stay the same and then we need to multiply by the derivative of 6x so 6x the derivative of it is 6 if I differentiate this so I need to multiply by that so 6 times by my 5 will give me 30 so for b y equals 5 to the power x we can use the standard result to help us do this However, I'm going to do this from scratch. So e to the ln 5x. This is the same thing. So this is then e to the x ln 5. And then I would differentiate this the same way as I did my previous one. So e to the x ln 5 would stay the same. And then I need to multiply by this differentiated, which is just ln 5. So this is multiplied by ln 5. Now, e to the x ln 5 can be written as e to the ln 5 to the power x. And we already know that this is the same as this from up here. So this is now 5x times ln 5. Now that's the long way of doing it. However, I would just learn the standard result that we looked at at the start of this video. So differentiating this one, dy by dx equals, differentiate them separately. So this is going to stay the same, but I'm going to multiply by this differentiated. So I'm going to multiply by 3. So I get 6e to the 3x. Now this time I'm going to use the standard result. So we get 3 to the power 2x stays the same. And then I'm going to have 2 ln 3. It's going to be multiplied by 2 ln 3. And if I want to get rid of my time sign, which I would, I just put this in brackets. So this using standard results 
would give me that I have 3 to the power 2x multiplied by 2 ln 3. So it's quite straightforward and quite quick. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do this the long way so that you can see it. So I can write this as e to the power ln 3 to the 2x. And then this will be e to the 2x ln 3. Or if I'm looking at the constant there, e to the 2 ln 3 is the constant multiplied by x. Now when I differentiate, I get e to the 2 ln 3 x. And we multiply by this constant. So multiply by 2 ln 3. Now we know that this is the same as this. Follow these back. So this one can be written as e, apologies, 3 to the power 2x. And that is then going to be multiplied by 2 ln 3, which, as you can see up here, is what we had. An alternative part from the start here is if I start with this y equals 3 to the power 2x, I could take logs of both sides. Like so or ln y equals 2 ln 3 multiplied by x. And then I could take e, both sides, and this is a much longer way of getting to the same place. And this is just getting to this point here okay hopefully that helps you understand it but as i said before just learn the rules the standard results so that you can just jump straight to this time is what it's all about in the actual exam or more accurately lack of time now you can approach this one in two ways so the first thing i could do is use rules of logs Bring the 5 down, I get this 5 ln x. Then when I differentiate, I get 5 multiplied by 1 over x. So 5 over x. Alternatively, I can differentiate straight away, which will give me 1 over x to the power 5. And then I need to multiply by this differentiated, which is 5x to the power 4 and you can see that x to the power 4 is going to cancel with four of these leaving me with 5 multiplied by 1 over x or 5 over x either way is fine so part b let's use rules of logs so we get 2 ln x plus ln 3 plus ln x so remember my rules of logs allow me to bring my power down and the rules of logs also when two things are multiplied i can split them up by adding them now when i differentiate i get two lots of one over x plus this is a constant so differentiating that will become zero and ln x is one over x so i've got 2 over x plus 1 over x so that will give me 3 over x also what i could have done is before i differentiated if i go back a couple of steps i could have simplified this as 2 ln x and 1 ln x is 3 ln x plus ln 3 and then differentiating here, 
I get three lots of one over x. And as I said before, this constant will become zero. So we get three over x. The alternative method is to differentiate straight away. And this will be the differential of this over this. So we get 2x over x squared plus, and the differential of this over this. So that would be 3 over 3x. Now you can see from simplifying, this x will go with one of these. This 3 will go with this one. And it's left me with 2 over x plus 1 over x which is 3 over x. So you have more than one way of solving these using the rules of logs first, then differentiating using our standard results, or with this alternative differentiation.